laugh if you will, but desperate times call for desperate measures, and when you don't have money to buy the equipment that you require, you get creative and work with what you have. So let's see here. I wanted some way of carrying, since I only have, I can't afford to buy a GoPro. Um, and the, sometimes you want to get those action shots where you're walking around and those PO, POV, point of view shots. And you know, when I'm working on something and I want my hands free, but I still want to record, what do I do? I need some way of being able to attach my smartphone to my head. So this right here is a little, little hook thing. It's made so you can put your smartphone on a tripod. This is a little accessory I bought somewhere like super cheap, I think off of Amazon. This is a little tripod that I have no idea where it came from. I just found it in all my random photography gear. And this is a belt that I've strapped to my head. Now it works pretty well. Obviously I'm using the, the phone to record so I can't put it up there to show you. I did capture a little bit of footage of me looking into a mirror so I'll try to I'll try to include that. But uh, yeah, it looks stupid as hell. But I'm not above looking like a dork, especially for the sake of documentation. Proper documentarian style. So yeah, it sort of works. I'm gonna give it a shot actually out doing anything. The likelihood of me dropping my phone into water or snow is probably very high, very likely with this, but... And it hurts. It hurts too, because it's like part of the tripod's jabbing into my skull. So I'm gonna have like a permanent dent right there. It's gonna like damage my frontal lobe. And with it, my entire personality, I'm sure. But anyway, thought I'd share it because you do what you gotta do. The sacrifices I make to document my homestead. <laughs>